Mallorca är er ju känt för bading, cykling, men så är er det en ting till som är er väldigt populärt här på den öya och det är er ridning. Det är er massvis av staller som tillbyr ridning i fjällen eller längs stranden och vi ska testa en av dem. Bli med. Då vi tar turen till Hippica Farm Mentor. Här lever hästarna ute hela dygnet så nära det naturliga hästehållet som överhode möjligt. Och det mest spännande är er att de blir faktiskt väldigt gamla. Kom, ska vi gå och se. So how old do the horses get in general? Uh, well, uh, normally when I was when I got into horses, uh, for me horses was 20, 22 years, sometimes 25. Mm, that's when they live in stables. When you get them free, they can get a bit older. Uh, I have horses for 30 years. 30? 30. Um, I know that in the wild, living free, they even got 60. 60? Yeah. Så hästarna här han säger att hästarna här kan bli upp till 30 år för de lever naturligt men att i full frihet så kan hästarna bli upp till 60 år gamla. The horses are not working anymore. Mm. They are retired now. They always have hay in here and mm. whenever they want to eat, they want to eat. When and they also go around, they graze a little bit, mm-hmm. they look for hay, for 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 grass. Yeah. They make around to all the place every day. How big is the area here? That's not too big. How would I say that must be three or four thousand meters? Three or four thousand three or five thousand square meters. That's quite big, I think, for the horses. That's nice. Well, uh, yeah. they need even more, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> we are limited. <laughs> we are limited. And how old are uh, these horses then? Uh, that one is about thirty. He's twenty-four, something like this. Yeah. And she's twenty-six. 36? 26. Oh, 26. So 26, 25 and 30 years old. <coughs> Once they are born here, it's nothing very special that you have to do about training. They train themselves because they they know the others, they see the others, they see what the others do. And when I do it with them, they just react normal like if they always knew what to do. They still have the mothers around, uh, the fathers sometimes. And they they grew up different. They are relaxed. They are calm. Everything is normal for them. They don't get uh, uh, strange when you want to jump on them or when you want to put something on them. They just feel normal because they have seen the mother who is doing it. They have seen the father who is doing it. They have seen all the brothers, all the all the, all the other horses which are doing it, and they don't find it strange. So it's very very easy. It's not nothing that I have to do to train them especially. It's very easy and the horses are very relaxed. They don't have the pain of the iron in the mouth mm. and the iron is also disturbing for breathing. So they are actually easy to handle. So a bitless hodelag has also not a bit. So the trigger ligger on the nose. So how does it actually work when you don't have the bit? Do you sort of the pressure is here a little bit. The pressure is only here. Yes, yeah. that's right. And you don't have to pull hard. Or? You don't have to pull hard. No. No. Uh, horses. I mean, you could also ride them without anything. If you train them, if you give them the the right instructions, mm. they learn what to do. And the horses they like to obey normally. Yeah. Mm. And you know, once they know what to do, uh, you don't have to fight with them. No. Så är er det så att de hästarna inte har sko, så nu ska vi ta en liten titt. Övarna ser ju faktiskt väldigt fina ut likväl, men likväl så tar vi ut i tillfälle ligger några steiner eller ett lat fast så det är er grejt att rensa upp lite. Eh, uh, sure, if you keep them in a stable where a horse is not walking the whole day and just staying there in the wee wee and then is not is it is not good. They cannot go barefoot. Okay. Uh, but when they are in a natural environment, they don't just choose. Exactly. They walk 40 kilometers every day. Yeah. So we're gonna try to ride a little, a short trip. Okay. To, to, to give it a try. Okay. <laughs> Go 
in the mountains. Yes, we do trips for two days, three days, and we sleep overnight on the north side of Luke. We go from here to the ways and villages up to the mountains. Do you bring food with you? Or do you... Uh, no, we stop. Uh, we have uh, already set up a few restaurants where we stop and we eat there. So it's more uh, com comfortable. It's <laughs> yeah. more comfortable, yes. We go up to 1,100 meters. 2,200 meters. 2,200 meters. 2,200 meters. That's a lot. <laughs> it's, it's high. It's nice. It's, yeah. little, it's very pretty. Yeah. And uh, temperature is about 20 in the winter. 15. Well, you never know, but yeah, mm. something like this between 15 and 20, sometimes 22. Mm. That's uh, the, the perfect normal. weather for yes. riding. Then. It's lovely yeah. winter for riding. Yes, it's the best. It's the best time for Mallorca to go riding. Well, thank you very much, Lorenzo, and good luck with your horses and clients and everything. And <laughs> hope you. to come back one time and be able to ride in the mountains with you. Good. I'll take you with pleasure. <laughs> thank you.